All right, uh, just a quick story about crazy environmentalists in Germany. Um, I don't know if you saw pictures of this, but just a horde of German climate protesters. I guess that's what they're called. I don't know what to call them. Nihilists. I think a bunch of black-clad German nihilists um, attacked. They stormed a, um, a Tesla electric car company last week. Uh, they want to break into the company and and destroy it. They want to see it burn. They want to see it crushed. This all as part of an environmental protest. They don't want fossil fuels, but they don't want electric cars either. Um, and uh, this is where we are. This is where we are in, in Germany. Uh, environmentalists want, uh, you see this in California and in places like Nevada and Arizona, they want solar panels, but they don't want them, they don't want to destroy the habitat of the desert. Uh, you keep over and over and over seeing that um, the, what the environmentalists really care about is not uh, transitioning to cleaner fuels, or uh, stopping climate change. What they really want is to see the, the world burn. What they really want is destruction. What they really want is a, a return to the dark ages. They and, um, you know, they and uh, the crazy conservatives, or some of the crazy conservatives at the Daily Wire share a common desire to go back to 1220. Uh, and uh, and live that way. They, they want to destroy civilization. Both the the the, the crazy uh, conservative. What was the name of the conservative? See, I can't retain names. I I, I think Walsh, but it's not Walsh. It's the other one uh, who wants to go back to twelve twenty. They want to destroy civilization. They want to destroy modern civilization. And and both. And and this is what scares me. What scares me is Michael Knowles. What scares me about Michael Knowles and uh, the, the fact that both Michael Knowles and many of the kind of uh, conservatives he represents and uh, the, uh, the crazy leftists, what makes, uh, what scares me about that is that they share a common goal. And what all you need now is uh, a, a dictator, a, a authoritarian type to come forward and say, in the name of God, we must preserve the environment, uh, which the Catholic tradcons are indeed saying, uh, and, uh, and embracing both uh, Michael Knowles and the crazy left. Both are nihilistic, essentially. Both want the destruction of civilization. Well, let me facilitate it. Let me bring it all under this big umbrella, and we'll wrap it all up with an American flag, and we will lead the world in this. That is what is scary. And uh, Michael Knowles might not be rushing uh, factories, but he's doing, I mean, we're objectivists. We believe that ideas shape history. Uh, we don't, we're not Marxists who believe that it, it is uh, rushing factories that changes history. Michael Knowles is a lot more dangerous. I mean, orders of magnitude more dangerous than the crazy idiots rushing factories. I mean, did they burn Tesla down? No, they didn't. Did they have any impact on Tesla? No, they didn't. Did most Germans look at them and say, crazy fools? Yes, they did. It is Michael Knowles teaching our new generation of conservatives not to love liberty, not to love freedom, not to love uh, capitalism, but to love 1220, much more dangerous. Teachers, uh, uh, intellectuals, always much more more dangerous than activists in the field. But for that, you have to, one of the things you have to do is understand uh, Ayn Rand's theory of history, understand what actually, what actually moves the world, what actually changes the world. And I should do a show on that, on uh, Rand's theory of history. I will do that. All right, that's coming.